Hey everybody, Mr. MathBog here. This is lesson 2-6, divide by two-digit divisors. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, uh, how can we divide by a two-digit divisor? Okay, so this is a similar title to uh, an earlier lesson. So, uh, just a different strategy here. So, the factory workers make 560 parts in 18 hours. Uh, suppose the workers made the same number of machine parts uh, each hour. So how many parts can they uh, do they make each hour? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, do some division here. So we're going to divide those two numbers here. So let's underline the sentence that tells us what we're trying to find. It's usually this last sentence right here. So how many parts do they make each hour? And then we'll circle the two numbers up here uh, that we're going to use. So we're going to divide 560 divided by 18 right here. Okay. All right, always first, let's estimate, you guys. So we're around 560 up to 600 and 18 to 20. So so uh, 600 divided by 20 is 30, okay? So remember, if we the, the inverse operation would be 20 times 30 would equal 600, and these two zeros would give these two zeros right here. So when you're dividing, uh, this zero takes off this zero, and then 2 goes into 60, 30 times, okay? All right, so um, uh, we're going to use the estimate to place the first digit in the quotient. Okay, 30 is three tens, so that means the first digit in the quotient will be in the ten spot, because that's what that is. So we're going to put it right above this six right here. So here's 506 tens. So when we divide, it's going to go right up above right there, okay? So let's go ahead and divide uh, 56 tens divided by 18. We'll do that three times, and so 3 times 18 is going to get us 54, okay? And then we're going to subtract those two. So when we subtract um, uh, 56 minus 54, that's going to get us 2 tens. Okay, and then um, uh, two tens cannot be shared among the 18 groups again. So what we're going to have to do is regroup these ones and slide them down. So let's see. There it is right there. So there's step one there. There's step two there. So step three is we're going to divide the ones now. So we slid those ones down right there. Okay, and then so um, uh, 18 goes into uh, 20 one time. Okay, you can get one group of 18 into 20 right there. Then we'll multiply uh, 18 times 1 is 18, and then we'll subtract those guys, and we get 2 right there. And now there's nothing left to regroup right there. So, um, so uh, two ones can't be shared among the 18 groups without regrouping. Well, we can't even regroup. There's nothing else to regroup. So this is our remainder right there. So uh, it's 31 and um, uh, and with a remainder of 2 right there. Okay. All right. So let's answer the question. Since 31 is close to our estimate, our original estimate was 30. I don't know if you can see that right there. Original estimate was 30. Well, this answer does seem reasonable. 31 with a remainder of 2. Okay. So the factory workers can make 31 parts uh, for each hour. Okay. They can't make a, you know, a, a remainder part right there. So they can make 31 full parts with that remainder right Right there. All right, explain what the remainder uh, 2 represents. Well, what that means is, in this case, the remainder 2 means there was a leftover of material uh, that was not enough to make up another whole machine part. So here we got 31 whole machine parts with some leftover material. And the leftover material was 2 of the 18 right there, because here, 2 18s. And we'll, do, we'll talk more about this, uh, this fraction right here later on this year, you guys. So uh, it's just leftover material right there. Okay, let's try another one, you guys. A bag of bolts holds 41 volts. Several bags are filled with bolts and are packed into a box that's shipped uh, and shipped to the factory. The box contains a total of 1,250 bolts. So how many bags of bolts are in the box? Okay, so we're going to divide uh, 1,250 divided by 41. It's always good to estimate, you guys. So, so I'm going to um, estimate uh, this is close to 1,200. Okay, divided by 40. We could have made it 1,600 also, but 1,200 is closer than 1,600 is. We're think I'm thinking multiples of four right here. Okay, so uh, remember these these zeros take each other off. So four goes into 120 30 times. Four goes into 12 three times with that zero right there. Okay, these zeros kind of cancel each other out right there. So our answer is going to be close to 30 again. So let's go ahead and divide. So 41. Now this is 30. So this is 310. So we're going to put the three. Uh, above the 10 spot. So it's going to go right above this 5 right here. So four, 41 goes into um, 
uh, 125 three times, and so when we multiply three times 41, we get 123. Okay, and then we're going to subtract. So when we subtract, we get two, and then we're uh, we can't um, uh, take uh, uh, get 41 groups in the, in the two right there. So we're going to regroup and slide that uh, zero down. Okay, and then how many times does 41 go into 20? Okay, it's zero times, you guys, and you got to place that. We knew it was going to be at least three tens, you guys, which means 30. So there had to be a zero there. So then we multiply zero times 41, which is zero, and then we're going to go ahead and subtract, and we get 20. Well, that's our remainder right there. So our answer is 30 with a remainder of 20. Now, now what can, we can do is, is check our work right here by, by doing the reverse of division. We can multiply. So we'll take um, uh, this, um, uh, this answer right up here, 30, the quotient right up here, and we multiply it by the divisor right there, okay? So 30 times 41, okay? So let's go ahead and multiply the 1's through. So 1 times 30 is 30, okay? Now when we multiply the 4, this is 4 10, so I'm going to add a 0 for the 10 spot, and then we'll go ahead and multiply 4 times 30 and put it right here, okay? But there's a 0 because of the 10 spot, so 120. Then we add those together and we get uh, uh, 1,230. Okay, now this is not 1,250, so what we have to do is, is uh, add this remainder right here. I think I chose that remainder up there. So we're going to go ahead and add that uh, to that, and then so that's going to get us uh, 1,250. And so it checks off that, um, that uh, this answer up here was correct when we multiplied this times this. So 30 times 41 and whatever that is, we added the remainder, and that should get us this answer right here. Okay, so you don't have to do that unless um, the, the textbook or your teacher asks you to do that. So so how many bags are there, you guys? Well, let's, let's answer the question, you guys. So the box contains a total of 1,250 bolts, and each bag holds 41 bolts, you guys. So there are 30 bags with some remainders right there. So how many bags do we need? Well, it's going to fill up 30 full bags, plus we need another bag for this remainder stuff. So that means there's going to be... 31 bags all together right there. Okay, does that make sense? So this remainder means uh, we have to add it for another bag. We've got to have it, you know, carry the remainder pieces right there. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense and take care.